It's an art exhibit as unique as our area. Flooded, Nature and the Human Spirit opened at the Community Memorial Museum of Sutter County on September 11th. The exhibit explores the relationship between the historical flooding of our valley and the cycles of the human condition. Inger Price, local artist and exhibit curator, asked many local artists to show, in their own unique ways, the parallels of flooding and the human condition. I wanted to explore those in parallel, like in tandem. And so when the levee breaks, you know, we get terrified, as in life. Maybe you're in a car accident, maybe you know, something horrible happens and it just happens and and it just shocks you and changes your life. And as in a flood, we feel overwhelmed and just drowned, you know, saturated by demands and expectations and we're just overwhelmed by the demands of life. Inger explained her belief that the rising and falling of our river levels can reflect certain aspects of our lives. Pretty much anything you can think of in a flood, you can find something in humanity in your day to day that you have to deal with. How many artists did you ask to participate in this? I invited about 20 and we ended up with about 17. There's a, a painting by Zorin Peshish. There's a, there's a bird in a little house in a tree, lovely painting. Beneath the house, there's a foreclosed sign. So there's some nature and reality right here. This is one of my oil paintings. It's four foot by eight foot, and it has to deal with the high water. It's painted in such a way that if you get close to it, you lose your peripheral vision on the sides, and you're surrounded by water. One artist in particular called upon his memories of a certain December when the rivers breached our levees. In 1955, I was five years, eight days old when the floods and the levee broke. The talk about the flood and listening to it on the radio uh, gave me some psychological things that uh, I've had to deal with. And, and this project kind of brought that all out. In the summer of 56, after the flood, my older brother and I, we built a fort in the backyard out of a refrigerator box. Not long after that, we saw a movie, The Crimson Pirates, with Burt Lancaster, and we decided to turn it into a, a pirate ship. So we raised it up on stilts, cut doors, we built cannons, put sails on it, and a mast. It became a, like a refuge for me, and it became, uh, if the flood ever came back, in my mind at that time, was that we would be able to sail away, or if we didn't sail away, it was up on stilts and the water would just go underneath. One of Don's other works illustrates our changing needs during our droughts and during our times of flooding. This is, this is called flush, and I'm going from one extreme to the other. The floods come and you have high water, and everybody wants it to just go away. Now we're in a, a drought situation, and everybody wants the water, and, and we're trying to figure out how to conserve water, and that's kind of where this is coming from. Opening night was a success, with an impressive array of artwork, from paintings to sculptures, multimedia, and poetry. Dear God, I'm sorry that I'm not the person that I wanted you to believe that I am. God, I truly desire change. The exhibit honestly, lasts through November 14th. Man, Reporting from the Community the Memorial Museum of Sutter County, love, I'm Kurt Baird for the all-new 93Q. Your grace are truly sufficient for me. Thank you, guys. Woo!